All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be explaining page rank algorithm, random walk on web graph, the classical thing. And uh, this is very important, these page rank algorithm. There are many variants, hundreds of variants of page rank algorithm that are also very important for the next generation of graph neural networks and graph representation algorithms and many other applications. So you see that in uh, 1998, this the first, uh, the first page rank patent filed. But then later, uh, there are other advances like Google Toolbar was retired, and then something new came that leaked document confirmed page rank still active. So it's still we need page rank. But it's also this one is also important seed set patent. And uh, you see the progress that is going on. And uh, still we need to understand it even more effectively than before. So you can think of web as a hyperlink structure and the vertices are the web pages. And so a first crack at page rank, looking at the web graph, do you have any idea which web vertex might be best to rank first? So this was uh, the original ideas, but unfortunately, these are some problems uh, so because, because their first idea was try defining page rank of X to be in degree, the in degree. When we have a directed graph, we have in degree. To be the in degree. But this idea is not uh, working. There are some problems because if you wanted to have your page get a high ranking, you can create a lots of dummy pages. So that's so so this this doesn't work because people can cheat. Another way is just become unfairly influential by having lots of link to other pages. So this one is also not work. But this one is interesting. If the user is at page X and there are three links from page X, then each link is followed by probability one third. So they assign each edge with a probability of one, but the probability of going to Y is important. It depends on the probability of staying at page X and going to Y. There are many ways to go to Y. But we always care about the final stationary distributions. We know that the probability at each vertex, if you sum over them, should be equal to one. And then we define this rank of X to be rank of Y, all edges from Y to X. For example, this edge, Y, Y prime, all of these go to X. So rank of Y, the, the, I mean, divided by out degree of y, because y has a degree, and the plus rank of another edge that goes to x. So the, and the sum of all these probabilities is one. Uh, that's why we can have this re re recursive algorithm to understand the stationary distribution. So classically, we write this, the, at, at the limit, we have this important balance equation that is like the eigenvalue one of the uh, transition. Left eigenvector of P. Uh, so if the graph contains things, the random walk is no longer defined. A natural approach consists in letting random walk jump to any node chosen uniformly. So then that's the idea of uh, that teleportation, alpha. We call alpha teleportation in many articles. It's just a, a probability between 0 and 1. So 
the corresponding uh, stationary distribution can be written like this. And then you can calculate this pi vector. But there are other variants like personalized page rank, uh, what else, hit kernel, hurt page rank. There are many other variants of that. There are many even local page rank algorithms. But the idea is the same. 